Hey guys, today you're going to learn how to identify the ground squirrel species that live in North America. Now, what are ground squirrels? Well, if you don't know, you probably live in the eastern part of North America because they don't really exist anywhere to the east of Ohio. But they're basically just about the same size as your average tree squirrel, but they live in holes in the ground like chipmunks and groundhogs. Uh, also, just as an added bonus, I'm going to throw in some antelope squirrels near the end of this video which are really just chipmunk-sized ground squirrels with no stripes. You'll, you'll see them. So let's get into it. I'm going to start with the golden-mantled ground squirrel because it looks like the chipmunks we went over last time, since it has stripes on its back. Except it's significantly bigger, it's got gold on its face and neck, and no stripes on its head. It's found all over the Rocky Mountains, with the exception of the desert southwest and parts of the Pacific Northwest. The Cascade Golden Mantled Ground Squirrel looks almost identical to the Golden Mantled Ground Squirrel, except it's found in the Cascade Mountains of Washington and southwestern BC. The Franklin's Ground Squirrel is found in the upper Midwest and into the Canadian Prairie Provinces. It's dark brown with a lighter colored belly and has a fairly grizzled appearance. The Arctic Ground Squirrel is found in northern Canada, Alaska, and eastern Siberia. It's the only ground squirrel species found that far north, so it's easy to identify. The Colombian ground squirrel is found in the northern Rocky Mountains, and it's notable for having a gray-brown back and an orange belly. The rock squirrel is found in the southwestern states of Arizona, New Mexico, Colorado, Utah, Nevada, and Texas. It can be variable in color from gray-brown, as in the picture on the lower right, to all black, which I don't have a photo of, but I do have a photo of a darker colored rock squirrel in the upper right corner. It's the largest species of ground squirrel within its range, which is the main identifier for this species alongside the coloring. The California ground squirrel is found all over California, as you might expect, as well as western Oregon. It can be identified by its gray-brown color with a white part on its neck and shoulders. The Paiute ground squirrel, which is also known as the Great Basin ground squirrel, is found mostly in Nevada as well as some adjacent states. It's fairly small, pale, and has a short tail. The Miriam's ground squirrel, which is also known as the Columbia Plateau ground squirrel, is almost identical to the Paiute ground squirrel that we just looked at. The only difference is this one is found in eastern Oregon, and their ranges don't overlap. The Townsend's ground squirrel looks very similar to the two previous species as well, with a slightly darker coloration. But again, it's found in a different range, this time in south-central Washington, to the west of the Com Columbia River. The Idaho ground squirrel is only found in a couple of small patches in western Idaho, and is actually believed to be two species, with the northern patch being a separate but closely related species from the southern patches. It can be either gray or brown, with some flecks of white on its back that you can see in the picture there. There's also a reddish nose, which you can see, and there's also a reddish rump, which you can't see. The Washington ground squirrel is found in Washington to the east of the Columbia River. It's dark brown with flecks of white on its back and whitish fur on its sides, and it's also got a short tail. The Belding's ground squirrel is found in the Sierra Nevada as well as the states of Nevada, Oregon, and Idaho. It is medium-sized with an orange-brown back and grayish sides. The Wyoming ground squirrel is found in Wyoming, Montana, and Idaho. It is medium-sized with brown fur above and yellow fur below. It also has a black-tipped tail that you unfortunately can't see in this picture. The only species that it generally can't be distinguished from is the Richardson's ground squirrel, but there is only a small area in Montana where their ranges overlap. And you may be able to identify a Richardson's ground squirrel by looking at its neck area, because the yellow of its belly will usually extend there. The Uinta ground squirrel is found in the area between the Wasatch Mountains of central Utah and the Yellowstone area of northwestern Wyoming and southern Montana. It's basically gray with a bit of orange on the tip of its nose. The Richardson's ground squirrel looks almost identical to the Wyoming ground squirrel, except for the yellow that is usually on the upper part of its neck that you can see here in this picture. It is found all over the Canadian prairies and into the adjacent areas of the upper Midwest. The Mojave ground squirrel is found in the Mojave Desert of Southern California. It's very pale with a lighter colored belly and a bit of black near the tip of its tail, 
It's kind of like what you would expect a species that lives in the Mojave Desert to look like. The round-tailed ground squirrel is found in Arizona, California, Nevada, and part of Mexico. And it looks similar to the Mojave ground squirrel, but darker and with a longer tail. The spotted ground squirrel is found in the western part of the Great Plains and into the southwestern states of Arizona, New Mexico, and Texas, and also to the south in Mexico. It's notable for its spots, which are not arranged in rows, and this is important because the next two species we're going to look at have spots arranged in rows. The 13-lined ground squirrel is found all over the Midwest and into some parts of the West and the Canadian prairies. It's got a specific pattern of stripes that is distinct and makes it fairly easy to identify. It doesn't always have exactly 13 lines of either spots or stripes, but they usually do, and that's a fairly good indicator. The Mexican ground squirrel is found in Texas and into Mexico. It looks similar to the 13-lined ground squirrel, but with no stripes, only spots, forming several lines along its back. It also has a fairly bushy tail, which this picture does no justice to. And here is our first antelope squirrel. The thing with the antelope squirrels is that for the most part they all have different ranges that are separate from each other, with one possible exception. As I said near the beginning, the antelope squirrels are about the same size as chipmunks, but without their typical stripes. The Harris's antelope squirrel we're looking at now is the only species found in the southern two-thirds of Arizona. The white-tailed antelope squirrel looks identical to the Harris's antelope squirrel, but with a white underside to its tail. It's found all over the southwest and up into southwestern Oregon as well. The Texas antelope squirrel basically looks identical to the white-tailed antelope squirrel, but it's found in Texas and New Mexico, and their ranges don't overlap. The Nelson's antelope squirrel is found in the San Joaquin Valley of Central California. It may overlap in range with the white-tailed antelope squirrel, but it is larger and has a more yellowish color to it. And that's all for this video. If you liked the video, leave a like. And if you want to see more content on how to identify different types of animals, you should subscribe because there's more of that coming up. And I have a few previous videos for you to watch as well. The next video I'm going to do will finish up the squirrel family in North America with the marmots. And I'll also throw in a few extras that should really be in the miscellaneous pile, but I didn't know where else to put them. And after that, I'm going to get into large herbivores and carnivores, and these will be species that you will already know about, but there will probably be some of them that you don't know about. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.